The people here, number one, I feel they have a deep faith. They look to God for, their, for guidance. I'm very inspired by the people here. We have about 45 students that come up daily. Some are on the Arizona side of the border, but they do come up from South County or they come from Mexico. There's the sacrifice of, of time, of financial, but most of our parents, they've attended our school or they know of our school and the strong preparation that the children receive, not only academically, but with their religious formation as well. Our school is largely a Hispanic population but reflective of the local community. So oftentimes any challenges would, that we would have refer to the children's uh, native English speaking skills. Oftentimes they'll come in and they're not fluent English speakers, so we'll work with them to gain that skill. The people here, the Mexicans and the Spanish, have a real sense of family. Their families are very close-knit and uh, they tend to have more children than just one or two. They like children and they want their families. They don't like to move away from their families. I live in San Luis, Mexico. I'm from there, I was born there. I live in San Luis, Mexico. And my mom and dad had this great idea to bring us across the border every day and get us over here. They actually drove us for eight years to, for us to be able to learn uh, English, how to speak English. So when I had my kids, when it was my turn, um, I was, always uh, hoping that I would be able to do the same thing with my kids, to be able to get them across the border every morning and drive them and get them here to school because it's such a nice school and I had such a good experience that, that that's what I wanted for them. It is a really big sacrifice to bring the kids all the way over here because they have to wake up earlier. They, uh, it's a, a little bit more expensive because of the, of the getting the transportation and all that stuff. But I definitely think it's worth it. Okay. And then I'm going to go out with the kids right. for the white cat. Constantly teaching the children what, what is right, um, what is the way to live by our Catholic faith. And I think that is a challenge for us in promoting um, what we believe in our faith and teaching our children to live their faith in a world that sometimes is contrary to that.